It was like I did a little more here, so I see a lot of people like starting to like. One of the things I kind of really want to do is to like understand myself a bit more. So I kind of took a personality test just to let you guys know what about me. So I kind of recently see some memes about like different personalities, so 16 personalities that I, like made up letters that you think that are randomly spotted, like random combinations. So I don't know, I might, you know, take the test just to see what kind of person I you know, you, do you enjoy actually vibrant social events with a lot of people? Uh, <laughs> to be honest, like in parties, I my, my sense is always gotten overload, okay? Yeah, I just feel really overloaded. I, I always feel like I need to get alone somewhere, somehow. I I, I just can't stand it, okay? The loud music, the how many people it. The, the more people they are, the more, more overloaded than I am. And I feel really bad, bad I would say. So, no. You often spend some time exploring unrealistic yet intriguing ideas. Yeah, sometimes I do like think a lot about myself, like maybe some about the future. I don't know. Maybe some new technologies. Okay, like maybe think about what what if you can actually the the speed of light is faster. I don't know. I I, I do spend a lot. Your travel plans are more likely to look, look like a rough list of ideas than a detailed here. Uh, I can really agree with that, but because like I feel like traveling is more like a leisure one. So you just need to chill. You don't need to make it really detailed. To be honest, like, you, you just need to chill. Why? Why do you need to make detail? I just, like I, every time I travel with my parents, I just don't understand why they need to plan it that like that much. It, it it's just going to have fun. Why do you need to plan it? I I just don't get it. To be honest, you often think about what you should have said in the conversation long after the speaking phase. Yeah, I highly agree that, you know, sometimes I feel like I should do it in a better way. If a friend is sad about something, your first thing is to support the emotion and also sort of try to solve the problem. To be honest, sometimes I don't really like this because I, I don't do this to be honest. Like, the way I see something sad, I will try to solve their problem. Because, like, after their problem, they won't be sad anymore, to be honest. But it's, like, my problem. People can rarely upset you. Um, no, I would say uh, sometimes people do kind of upset me a bit, but not that much. Um, you know, you often rely on the people to be the ones to start a conversation, keep it going. I I I don't really agree with that because I, it's really hard to to, to keep on a conversation. To be honest, in my perspective, if you have to temporarily put your plans on hold to make sure it's your proper priority to get back on track as soon as possible, like sometimes I need to do stuff. I try and read back. Like you, like while I was recording this, I kind of like finished all my exams, so I want to do a bit more like YouTuber stuff because it's starting to like get. I sort of have free time, basically, because of the Christmas holiday. So, basically, I just want to get back on my YouTube stuff, and also my drawing stuff, as much, you know? You rarely worry if you make a good impression, David. Uh, to be honest, I kind of do, but sometimes I don't really, but, you know, maybe I better do. It will be a challenge for you to spend the whole weekend by yourself. No, I, I, I don't If you If you give me just a computer, maybe some pens, maybe some stuff, maybe, just, just give me internet access and some pens and maybe some video games probably don't. You're more like a detail on that the, the big picture. Sometimes, yes. Uh, if I have one single detail that I don't understand, I would be really struggle with the detail. But, you know, sometimes if I understand everything, I would be more like a big picture. Uh, it kind of depends. Uh, I don't know. You're very affectionate with people who care about. Um, to be honest, even though to be honest, I kind of care about my sister a bit. I mean, like sometimes I feel like I kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. My sister is kind of complicated. Like, I'm I'm just taking my sister for example, but but sometimes I just don't know. I don't know. Like people like my sister is just when 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 you are she is not here. Yeah, you you say that you really care about it, care, care but when you are with her, you just don't really care about it. you. You feel re you're she's really annoying. You want to hate her and you want to slap her in the face. I, I don't know, it, it's, it's weird, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not that affected. Yeah, you have a careful and methodological approach to life. Um, about life, sometimes I feel like the world has its own ways and you need to, like, there's always a best way of doing things, like, you know, I wouldn't say there's a best, there's just more better way of doing things, so, I don't know, maybe I'm a bit agree. You are still bothered by the mistake you made a long time ago, uh, I make a lot, a lot of mistakes before, uh, but are they actually that bother me? Uh, sometimes, uh, when I think about them, like occasionally, 
just, they just pop in my brain, you know, I might click a bit bad, but not that much. But, you know, the mistakes. To be honest, uh, currently I don't really got bothered with it, so maybe kinda no. And part of the guess you can mostly be found farther away from the action. Yes. Yeah, it's basically the same as the first one. You often find it difficult to relate to people with, who let their emotions guide them. Like my sister, yes, I find it really hard sometimes. Even though, even though sometimes I have emotions, I sometimes like my own emotions do overwhelm. Makes my like the emotions kind of guide me sometimes when things got on hand. But usually, I try and don't. Yeah, if if you let people who let your emotions guide a hundred percent of the time, I sometimes feel not really. Good. When you're looking for a movie to watch, you can spend ages browsing the catalog. Uh, firstly, I, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of watching movies, but I usually try to find a certain one, maybe, maybe, but I don't watch that movie. You can stay calm and under a lot of pressure, probably no. I could break easily, like, I mean, break out easily, I mean, you know. When in a group of people you don't know, you have no problem jumping right into their conversations. Uh, what do you mean by you don't know? Sometimes, like, in school, I kind of, like, randomly jump in people's tables and meet everyone in the school, in the new school. But I think the reason is because simply they are at the same school, but if they are not in the same school, I might have no idea. Like, a random person. Uh, maybe it's like agree, maybe I don't know. When you sleep or dreams have to be bizarre and fan. Yeah, sometimes I, I, it's more bizarre than than fantastical. I would say it's more bizarre sometimes. My dreams are really bizarre, but I always forget it after I woke up. I just know I had a weird dream. That's all. Um, yes, I do. In your opinion, it's sometimes okay to step one. Um, you know, it kind of depends on the person. I would say, uh, if he's one of your lifelong friends, it helps you a lot. I swear I won't, but he's maybe some random person or. I don't know, someone you hate, maybe, yeah, I can't depend on a person to go on. You are dedicated and focused on your goals that are really getting sidetracked, um, yeah, sometimes if I was really into something, I would definitely really focus on that. If you make a mistake, you start down to yourself for your business, yeah, I do. What well, in such a way, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. I'm not so sure about it, to be honest. Like, firstly, I rarely go to parties. Yeah, and uh, like to be honest, I just don't know. I because simply I rarely go there. You usually lose interest in the discussion when this goes philosophical. No, I don't. Like when it gets philosophical, I can talk more. To be honest, we'll never. You would never let yourself cry in front of us. No, I. I I I don't. I don't. To be honest, you feel more drawn to places with busted. Thing and busy atmosphere that do more quiet and intimate ones. Sometimes I kind of like feel like I need to get away, you know, from all the loudness or the noise sometimes. So no, you like discussing different views and theories on what will work or look like in future. Yeah, I always do that. When it comes to making life changing questions, you mostly listen to a hard relatively that mostly unless I'm feeling really confused. You cannot imagine yourself dedicated to a life of study of something that you can't see, touch, or experience. I just can't, okay? Like, a lot of things. You, you usually prefer to get your revenge rather than to forgive. Ah, yes, my fucking dad. Uh, you have no idea how many times I've tried to kill my dad. Okay, just don't take it out of my con- out of context, okay, please. Uh, my dad is an asshole, okay? Maybe a bit, you know. You often make decisions on a whim. Um, sometimes this is a really hard to take. Sometimes decision, and you know what's going on, but sometimes it's really hard. So I would say, say no. The time you spend by yourself on the end is being more interesting. So, well, usually it is. Yeah, kind of. You often put statue after into imperfectly room. Yeah, sometimes like some songs, I will actually um try and understand the meaning of it, like if it's really deep. I you know, trying to wonder what's going on, you know. Like, I would actually read the lyrics. Just to get a meaning of it, you know. You, you always knew you exactly what you want. Sometimes I don't. But sometimes I do. Um, 
เอ่อย่าสนทายแต่ตรงบางสนทายแต่ดู but not exactly okay I'll say I disagree you rarely think back on the choices you made one day you have uh no sometimes I think that what if I didn't do that or what what if I didn't get to go to another school before I don't know when the public say you stick to part probably you you tend to focus on present realities um the future problem to be honest I think both a lot which is a problem because I kind of think Present realities and future possibilities. Well, I I sometimes think of future possibilities and think back or think of the present and think what's possible. I don't know. You often have a hard time understand. Yup. When starting to work on a project, you prefer make as many decisions upfront as possible. Uh, to be honest, I don't like group projects. Decisions upfront, maybe. Maybe. I I I don't know, but you know I try to make things clear. You no, know? when you know someone thinks highly of you, also yeah, sometimes because I know myself more than others, I know how a horrible person I am. Then I just feel like when do I they actually know my past and feel not very good of it. You feel comfortable just walk out someone you find interesting. Uh, maybe no. So I'm just too shy. Not gonna lie. You often drift away into daydreaming about affairs. Probably, maybe you look after yourself first, and others come second. It kind of depends on person again, but most of the cases are probably like go with myself first. Even when you plan a party, you usually just end up doing um not really. Sometimes I feel like the way I do it is if I plan something, okay, I would do that. But if I didn't plan anything, I would just do what I feel like it. So. Your mood can change very quickly. A bit agree. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes feel like that. You have to contemplate the reasons for humans. Yeah, I always do that. You often talk about your own feelings. Sometimes, yes, I do talk it a, a bit on the channel. Yup. You have got detailed education, kinda like about me and my studies in UK. I kinda know what's going on. I can a bit agree with it. You rarely dwell on your regrets. Hmm. I don't have much regrets about spending time in dynamic areas with lots of people around quickly makes you feel drained. Always, you see yourself as more of realist than visionary. I don't even know. To be honest. Uh, yeah, I think of both. You find it easy to emphasize a person who has gone through something you never have, never. Your personal work style is closer to spontaneous burst energy. Yeah, sometimes I feel like you need to get into the zone, you know. Your emotion control more, control you more than you control them. Always after a long, exhausting week, a fun party is just what you not never. You frequently find yourself wondering how like tech could change. Yeah, I always think about it. You always consider how your action might affect other people before doing something. Like, you know, I'm kind of big person. You know, I always, I don't, I don't really. Consider other people that much. To be honest, you still honor the commitments you have made, even you have changed heart. No, I don't. You rarely feel insecure. No. Uh. Uh. Okay. Oh. I N T J. Ah. Okay. Um. That's interesting. Uh. Okay. What's What's going on? Okay. Uh, I uh, maybe uh, okay. Let me just pause this video real quick. Okay, so basically, <laughs> uh, INTJ. It can be lonely as how it's one of the rarest personality types. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it can be really lonely. To be honest, sometimes I feel like I'm a weird person. Boys, like one well, most capable people call me talented, even though I don't think I am. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I I, I always keep up their nonsense and then still everything. Yeah. It, 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 yeah. Sometimes I just feel like some people are a bit stupid sometimes, but you know, sometimes because of me. But what was some dreams in bit? Yeah. Sometimes it feels pretty dark. Uh. <laughs> 
say to the room pilot they can actually give you the most chance. Yeah, I, I do believe sometimes like I I can do something if you think enough, you know, or more if you can't think it up, you can find more people to think more about it. Uh, you may still call up a human nature more generally, maybe. Uh similar so part people most people are lazy and they deserve to be due to I don't think that way. I just think that some people are more like Yeah, people don't have I would say sometimes people, lazy people are a bit wasted talent sometimes, I feel like. You know, I think everybody like has their good things to do, like their um, strengths, I would say. Uh, but, you know, some people just don't use them for some reason. I, which maybe that doesn't interest them or they haven't found it yet. You know, there are a lot of reasons about it. I guess that's what there are much of the same for the launch. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, I've been called a nerd a lot. Uh, yeah, I kind of embrace them, to be honest. I'm a nerd, so what? What, what, what about it? Like, everybody knows I'm a nerd, to be honest. Yeah, sometimes it's really hard to distract, to be honest. Like, uh, yeah, and I, I, I don't really like Arsenal, to be honest. Like, you know, those rumors just don't work for me. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I always find. You know, there are, there are always good, better ways of doing this to make the world better, sometimes I feel. Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely not afraid of doing this, especially like towards like authority, people with like authority. I, I always like question everything kind of person. So that's why I don't really like it live in China because you, you know what's going on. They just don't do a lot of certain kind of people right now with different views. Um. Yeah, I always think alone. Yep. Um, yeah, I don't mind acting alone because sometimes I feel like it's better off work alone than working with people that I just can't compatible with. With uh, sort of frustration. Yeah, I, I, I just got bullied a lot, you know, and I just can't get with people sometimes. <sighs> yeah, I just drank a cup of water. I mean, you know, I sip. Uh. Yeah, um, <laughs> uh, social practices like small talk to white lies. Yeah, sometimes I feel a bit too honest sometimes. Yeah, um, I, I just feel a bit honest sometimes. So, um, deal with other people with worse. Yeah, sometimes, like, if you deal with people like you, you, I don't really get with, um, I just feel like I just, I just don't want to leave, to be honest. Seeing people that I just don't feel dealing with. Yeah, I just... Well, yeah, we do crave social interaction because we lack a lot of thereof. Uh, yeah, it's full of contradictions. Yes. I do agree. I'm a, I'm a complicated man. I'm not a man. I'm more like a cat fanboy. <laughs> but, yeah, ambitious, yeah, private, curious, yeah, book. I, I, I know. Sometimes I have things to do, like, but... I hate it when, especially when my parents ask me what I actually do. Like, I know what I'm going to do, please. Um, okay, people like me that you know. Wait, what? <laughs> Elon Musk. Of all things, somehow Elon Musk is like me. Like, what? <laughs> Elon Musk, of all things. Elon Musk, okay. And <laughs> okay, okay. Putin, maybe. I don't know. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, Terminator. Um, Breaking Bad. Sorry, I nev never watched Breaking Bad before, so I have no idea. Uh, Laurel Gandalf. Maybe heard of him. Uh, okay, strength of weaknesses. Yes. Um, I could be really rational, and I need to get informed always, just to judge what's going on. Uh, oh, oh, there, there's this thing. Uh, okay. Um. And then yes, I always think like I, I was always curious. Everyone knows that I'm a curious person. Arrogant, uh, maybe sometimes you know people might think that I'm quite selfish person, but actually I have reasons for that. Maybe you know, like my dad. But <laughs> that sometimes I'm overly critical. Sometimes, yeah. Uh, sometimes I just don't care about. Feelings. I just forgot people. Sometimes I just when I deal with something, I just forgot people's feelings. Sometimes, but be be quite 
uh, frustrating, I would say. Uh, combat there, I'm falling without anything. Like, hate flying, falling without anything while I'm standing. Why? Makes sense. Romantically cool. <laughs> I'm single, okay? Like, I, I guess that's one of the reasons why. Romantic relationships, which I probably don't have. Uh, uh, yeah. Kinda. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 it, 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 and, yep. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's just really hard to find people that actually with you. Even your requirements is just personality, a personality that's compatible. You, you can't even find one. That, that's the problem. Um, uh, that just insists on honest and open communication. Yeah, I prefer honesty to be honest. I, I rather like. Frick, all those like busy stuff. Sometimes I just want to get, be honest, okay? Um, the social needs and an uh, obscure etiquette of obscure etiquette of dating my steam and using in, in a yeah, sub like manners. Sometimes it feels even useless for me, like especially manners. And stuff. Um, my dad always calls me I'm a mannerless person, but sometimes I just feel like certain manners you can just leave it. Because I'd rather feel honest, like, I hate people being fake, okay? Just, just be honest, please. Um... If you add the data world, it's really difficult for me. Uh... Yeah, I might understand people a bit more. You know, you know, I, I need time to do it, okay? I, I, I just need some time, you know? Um... Uh... I won't say dating is silly because like you can find another person, but it's it's just really hard to for me to find people that good good for me. I'll say that that's why. Yeah, I I just really hard to express myself sometimes. Like even I love the person, I just have no idea how do I make sure she she knows that I love her, but. Also, in a way that she feels like, comfortable. I just have no idea. I, the best thing I can do is actually just text them saying that I love you or something. That's that's the best I can do. No pack and knife, just straight it. Like, cause I have no idea what should I do to be honest. Um, emotion may feel like second language. Yeah, I hate my emotions. Um, sometimes my I can't even deal my emotions. Yeah, love love is just friendship. Okay. Uh. Yeah, it's, it, or it's everyone's cup of tea, yeah. Uh, at least I have still some small friends, yeah. But then it just... <laughs> yeah, I, I won't say our, we are actually anti-social friends. To be honest, we're just comfortable with people that, like, feel the best, you know, to be... Um, just, just being comfortable with the people that you are okay with like i would talk more with the people that i feel great with that's why but to strangers i don't know i just have no idea what to do with them um the search for equal yes i, I just want people that is like me sometimes uh yeah it, yeah mason yeah mason mason yeah. to be honest it's, our friendship is quite weird i, I would actually say i I I think I should send him this test someday because you know you know the best friends has it's not like the other kind of best friend they you know uh, I I just don't even know what to say about it right now. Uh, parenthood, sorry. Um, I'm I'm still kid. There are perhaps um uh um hmm. Yup. Yeah, any job that fails to draw their skills and knowledge is wasted opportunity. That that's what I think. Like, pe I I think some everyone should have their own good skills. Like, but sometimes I just feel sad that some society that just doesn't allow them to do that job. You know, I feel like everyone has their use, has their purpose, and you know, it just feels sad that like 
they went to a jail or they just get didn't get hired or something. Um, starting at the bottom of the career, it, it's, yeah, it could be frustrating because like I always like chance authorities like their bosses might, might not like me. My dad, my dad always said that like, oh my god, well, you, you, if your attitude, your boss definitely fire you the next day, something like that. You know, something like that. I just, I just find things really frustrating about. You know, I just want to make things better, but you know, people just don't allow it. People have different like hierarchies or stuff of power, which confuse thing. I would say. Yeah, some person has drawn drops that require non-stop keyword and interaction, but yeah, yeah, I, I just sometimes feel frustrated working with other people, like especially the ones that I can't really compare them. If they are okay with me, are compatible, or good with me, then go on, but you know, most of the times it doesn't work and uh, that well. Um, demand progress and religion, yep, and stuff. Okay, how it works. Yeah, I was just want to pursue high goals, you know, as high status for themselves. Yeah, try try to be as good as possible to be honest. So, I guess, okay. So, so basically, I just want to tell that INTJ, um, it, it's quite interesting. It's some way that I I can actually kind of like um find out myself a bit more, which is good things. So. Uh, and you feel you can understand me a bit more, I guess. So, um, you know, just just a video sharing about the about myself. To be honest, I I really like being a VTuber. One of the reasons why I really like it is because like you can share about your stuff that you really want to share without actually like showing yourself, which makes things up really embarrassing, really hard to say. So, I I really want to thank you all for your patience. I think this video will be a bit long on me talking random stuff. Um, that you might not feel really interested in, but okay. So, um, if you find it, you know, you want to know more about me, more about me, or you're really into these personality stuff, maybe just comment down your say that you know you actually do another one or stuff like that. So, you know, I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Knocks and box, box and socks. Knocks on fox and socks and box. Socks on knocks and knocks and box. Box and socks on box and knocks. Chicks with bricks.